Hey Pinksters, today we will be discussing a certain issue wherein the carriage return character does not work properly within the print statement when you use it in Visual Studio Code or for that matter when you use it in any other IDE like Visual Studio or PyCharm. Now in order to understand this, we must focus on a certain tutorial that we learned previously. So that tutorial was how to override the previous print to standard output in Python. Now, when we executed the codes or the solutions given to this problem, they worked perfectly fine when used on REPL. For example, let's have a look at this code, this code right here. Let's copy this and then let's use it in REPL. Now, let's run this code. And there we go. As you can see, that we are having the perfect output that we want. But there's a problem here. When we use this same code within VS Code, so let's say that this is my VS Code IDE. So when we execute this code in VS Code, let's see how the output looks. So there we go. We have start and then we have processing result and then a certain escape character with terminate. So this means this is not working properly in the output console of Visual Studio. So the question here is, is the code wrong? And the answer to that is no, absolutely not. The code is perfectly fine and you can definitely use it to solve your problem. So where is the problem? The problem lies within the IDE itself. Certain GUI based IDEs have this problem wherein they cannot deal properly with characters like carriage return. Since we use the carriage return character here, so Visual Studio was not able to work upon this character as well as it was not able to compute this escape character properly. Now there's a very simple solution to this. The simplest solution to this is that you simply have to execute this code in the terminal instead of the output console. And this is because the output console is almost equivalent to the terminal. However, it has certain advantages as well as disadvantages over the terminal. And in this case, we have a disadvantage. It behaves little differently than the standard terminal. So let's learn how we can execute this code in our terminal so that it can give us the output that we want. Simply click on terminal, then navigate to the path which contains the script. So to do that, you have to use the cd command and then specify the path which contains the script. And let's have a look at the path which contains the script. So there we go. This is the script that we will be executing and it is at this path. So let's copy this path. And now within quotes, let's specify this path. Let's hit enter. And there we go. As you can see that now we are at the folder which contains the script. Now all that remains to be done is to execute this piece of code. And before we do that, let's go ahead and increase the sleep time a bit. So it's two seconds. Let's make it 20 seconds from two seconds. So that will help us to visualize the code better. Let's save it. And now let's move inside our terminal once again. And let's use the command Python space and then the name of the script, which is same underscore line underscore print dot i. So this is the name of the script and this is exactly what I used. Now let's hit enter and let's see the kind of output that we have in the terminal. So there we go. We first have start. Then we have processing result, which is on the same line as opposed to the kind of output that we were having in the output console, wherein the output or each line was getting printed on a new line. So this is the kind of output that we want. So processing result has been printed on the same line and then we have terminate which overrides processing result on the same line and then we come out of the code. So this is how you can use the terminal within VS code to execute your code. Now, if you do not want to use the terminal and use all the commands that we saw just now, what you can do is right click on the code area and then this menu appears and from here you can select this option which is run python file in terminal. So click on this and this will start executing the code in the terminal itself. And as you can see that once again we have start, then we will have processing result on this line itself and finally it will print terminate. 
So we now have processing result and then finally it will print terminate. So that's it. There's another way of doing this. Let's say that you are using this extension which goes by the name code runner in order to execute your programs within the output console. But as we saw that the output console is giving us a different kind of output than what we want. So we do not want to directly run the code in the output console. And in order to avoid that, what you can do is go on to this option, which directly runs your code in the output console. And then here you'll find a small drop down button, click on it and a drop down menu appears. And instead of clicking on run code, you should click on run Python file. And when you do that, that will execute the code in the terminal itself. So let's do this. And there we go. As you can see that the code has begun its execution and it is getting executed in the terminal instead of the output console. So this is how you can execute this piece of code and solve the problem of carriage return within the print statement in VS code. To further clarify things, let us try to execute this code in another IDE. So let's execute it in PyCharm. So let's open up PyCharm and this is the code that we have. And now let's decrease the sleep time a little bit. Let's say that we have 10 seconds as the sleep time. And now let's first execute this piece of code in the inbuilt Python console provided by the PyCharm IDE. And let's see the kind of output that we have. So I have started executing this code. And as you can see that we do not have any output here. And you'll eventually find that at the end of execution, we will simply have terminate printed on the output screen and nothing else. So that is the kind of output that we have. But this is not what we want. We want Python to first print start, then print processing result at the same line and then finally print terminate on the same line. So we basically want PyCharm to overwrite each line upon the previous print. So the solution here is quite similar to what we learned in VS Code. Instead of running it in the Python console, what you can do is open up the terminal and within the terminal, let's navigate into the folder that contains the script and I'll show you my project folder. And within this, I have this folder general, which contains the code carriage return. So let me find out the script. So there we go. So this is the script carriage return, which is contained within this folder general. So what we first have to do is within the terminal, we first have to dive inside general and where is general general is within the main project folder, which is Pinkster. So at this point of time, if you have a look at the console, rather, I should say, if you have a look at this terminal, you'll find that we are at this main project folder Pinkster. So now we have to move inside this folder general. So let's do that. Let's use the CD command once again. And then let's move inside general. Let's hit enter. And now, as you can see that we are inside the general folder. So from this folder, we can simply execute our file, which goes by the name carriage return. And to do that, let's use the command Python. We have an error. Okay. Let's clear out the screen with the help of the CLS command. And now let's type Python space and within quotes, let's type in the name of the script, which is carriage space return dot pi. Now let's hit enter. And there we go. We first have start. Then we have processing result printed on the same line. Finally, we have terminate printed on the same line itself. So this worked for us in PyCharm as well. And this is how you can solve this problem. So the bottom line is instead of executing this piece of code in the console provided by the IDE, you can execute this code in the terminal and your program will work perfectly fine. So I hope this clarified all your doubts and I hope this helped you. If you have any doubts, please mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all your queries. Thank you.